Welcome to the next chapter presented by WellCare. I am here with Panthers legend Thomas Davis. And TD, this is a segment where we talk to former Panthers players about life after playing football. Yes. And you're very close to that subject with, with just retiring very recently. I want to start by asking you, when did you feel like it was time? And, and what did that decision look like for you and your family? You know, just having that year in Washington um, to close out my career and my body feeling the way that it felt, it was time for me to shut it down. I knew that um, when you wake up and your knees feel a certain way or if your feet feel a certain way and you're limping and you know your body really speaks to you. And I told myself a long time ago that I didn't want to be one of those guys that held on way too long. And I just felt like after last season, it was time for me to call it quits and just really dedicate all of that time, energy, and effort to my kids and my family. You have a, a full schedule. You are going to every single event and sporting event that your yes. kids are doing. You and your wife, Kelly, you are um, you own an arena football league team. You're doing media stuff both here and elsewhere. I, I want to know, though, like when you go from a scheduled, you know, football is such a, a scheduled thing for athletes, you know, every single part of your day what was that like first day waking up which I know would be an off season anyway where you were like all right things are gonna look different from here on out you know it, it really wasn't until like training camp started mm. back that I started to sit back and be like dang man this, this is different everybody's going back to work everybody's going back to football and I'm you know I'm sitting at home I didn't miss it at all I can tell you that <laughs> I was excited to, to you know to go on Instagram to see you know, training camp has started in Wofford and I'm watching all the guys report and I felt good being at home. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a situation where I was I was sad or disappointed. I didn't really know how I was gonna feel at that point, but I can tell you that I didn't miss it at all. That's great. That's exactly what I, you would hope that everyone would want. And not a lot of people get to retire or start their next chapter on their own terms. So I feel like you check that box. Like that's when you know you did the right thing, yes. right? Where you're like I don't miss this. I don't yeah. want to be out in 100 degree heat right now. Right, and, then, and I had someone tell me, you not missing it says that you did everything that you could and you gave it your all while you were out there. And yeah, I, I gave everything that I had to the game, man. And, and now I get to enjoy watching other people play and you know talking about the game and being a part of, of that world. With all the different things that you're doing, what's been the best part? Let's start with, because uh, I know family, how important it is to you and that comes first. What's been the best part of getting to be at every single event for your kids and spending all of this time with them now? You know, just watching my, my youngest cheer for the first time, my baby girl, she's, she's excited about being a cheerleader. And then getting to watch TJ, who I feel like is, you know, my mini me. Really watching him excel at the game of football and basketball, man. And then getting to watch my 17-year-old do pole vaulting of all things. Wow. Um, you know, it's just been fun to just sit back and just be a dad and just watch your kids compete um, on the level that they're competing on, man. It's, it's been exciting for me. Well, and you're a little busy anyway during the games because you told me a while back that you're like, the family photographer. Yes. You showed me the camera. I mean, it's like a nice, you got like a nice setup right there. When did you get into photography and do your kids like the pictures that you're taking? I've been doing it a bunch over the years and you know, I've even been called a tourist by my family because when we go on family vacations, I take my cameras with me. It was like, you know you can use your phone to take. I'm like, no, I don't want to use my phone. Wait, do you have it around the neck? You oh, got I like have, the neck strap? I have it around my neck. I have the <laughs> neck strap. I have the tripod. I have, I have it all. I, hold, I have the whole setup. And you know, for me, one of the biggest reasons why I do that is I don't have a ton of pictures of me at that age. Yeah. And I don't have those opportunities to go back and show my kids like, look, when I was your age, I did this or we did that. And I don't want them to have that same experience with their kids. I create these memories and I have a ton of pictures and videos that are going to last a lifetime and they're going to be appreciative of it when they are my age. And then finally, TD, as you look at the stuff that you're doing that's related to football, whether it's with your team or, you know, we did the draft together for the Panthers or you're calling games now in college, are you enjoying this side of things after being on the playing side of it? I absolutely am enjoying every minute of it because it allows me to stay connected to the game. It allows me to talk football. And, you know, I just love offering my perspective from this side of it, opposed to being out on the field, running around, sweating, and <laughs> um, doing the things that we used to do. So it, it's been fun, you know, I'm 
just taking advantage of every opportunity that comes my way to talk football, to just be connected back to the game. Oh, we love having you here in the building. We love hearing what you have to say about this team and, and certainly everything else that you're covering. Thank you so much for the time. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.